hopping right in okay y'all first card i had pulled was the king of wands and somebody is really passionate like this card reverse this card this this my fb card reverse fuck boy but when it's in when it's upright it is it's solid like it's pretty much the opposite this is a person who's charming charismatic i nicknamed this card the Midas touch because literally everything this person touches it multiplies um i've always noticed with this card don't he look like he about to get up like or is that just me it looks like he's my uh, getting ready to take the initiative to do something and this person is kind of very bold blunt and they say what's on their mind second card i pulled was the emperor card and right now this reading is so masculine like i'm picking on some heavy masculine energy and i'm gonna go ahead and say this because i always leave the uncomfortable information out but maybe it'll resonate or you know while i was shuffling i kept hearing harry in this reading he could be this bold persistent energy it's like a specific energy that's just taking over this because this reading is supposed to be about gg and zane zane gg right and um right now i am channeling it's a song working nine two five okay i'm a little bit old school right that's dolly parton and <laughs> i think the reason why i channeled her i actually channeled her when i pulled the eight of pentacles because don't it look like this bro is working hard nine to five or whatever was going on in that time period dolly parton is She's got swag. Hop up on a bed. It's hop up on the bed. Turn my swag on. Take a look in the mirror. Say what's up. Let me stop. All right. She's got, she got spunk. Um, I love Dolly Parton. Like when she does her interviews, she always be shutting them down in a respectful and classy way. So this energy is all of that. It's bold. It's a silent strength even, you know. The person that walks in the room and they don't got to say anything like like my goku my my goku god up here uh let me see what i'm gonna do is i did ask the cards how zane and gg felt about one another because i just kept picking up on you know this strong masculine energy and i picked up the ace of pentacles and i'm hearing biggie give me one more chance oh god i, I can't <laughs> it's so many songs that i'm channeling right now it's shit crazy yo um also you know the movie from milan that's one of my favorite movies where you know it's um asian movie she pretends to be a man there's a song with them dudes and they singing be a man something 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 like that i i feel like i'm picking up on this energy because this is how Gigi felt about zayn she kind of felt like he was fuck nigga like i straight up like i know i gotta limit my cussing on here but i can't i can't help it like she felt like this dude was not the man that she wanted him to be she felt okay there you go thank you spirit she felt like he wasn't man enough for her um y'all know the movie rocky right and how his girl like she speaks some words into him and it just inspires him so much that he want to take on the whole world right i feel like Gigi wanted to be this person for zane i'm not calling Gigi a karmic y'all okay this stuff that i'm using right now like i'm, I'm a storyteller i like to still tell stories like i don't have, know any other way to have a connection with y'all all right so i'm not calling gg a karmic all right once again but y'all know how the divine masculine and the divine feminine are like intertwined no matter what and all these karmic energies be trying to rip that gold that gold little cord from uh hercules that unbreakable cord i don't know why that just popped in my head right now i feel like gg wanted to have an unbreakable bond with zane and that is something that did not happen it just the shit broke like glass like just you know what i'm saying like it was just it was just a very thin foundation when i asked the cars how zane felt about Gigi, i started challenging okay damn like it's possible that i'm hearing challenge it's possible that Dane, zane wanted to see some competition for him like like he wanted to see somebody have some fire and fire in them for him i feel like harry was more passionate towards Zane than Gigi was. 
I hope this is all making sense, y'all, because it's this is kind of getting me hyped up and I'm getting anxiety and all this. Um, I also pulled the 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 moon card. I feel like it's possible that Zayn was keeping a secret, and I feel like it's a secret that everybody know. And you know, the the secret that I'm talking about, like we, I feel like everybody all has that one person that's in the closet, and after about 20, 30 years, they come out, and then you be like, nigga, we already knew that shit, and you just go back to watching TV or whatever you're doing. Like I feel like he's holding on to some things inside him that he's refusing to let go, and like he just to just say that shit because we already know what's up. Um he wants to manifest things in a different direction he doesn't really want to manifest anything with Gigi you know what I'm saying like I'm hearing aloofness boredom uh he is okay if y'all know how men are a, a lot of men tend to suffer in silence and they'll have a whole bunch of shit going on in inside of them and on the outside they won't be saying anything to they won't be saying anything or they'll do whatever to keep the peace on the outside but in, inside they're having internal you know internal shit going on this is what i feel like this is what, how zane is he's trying to put on a happy face there's a song like called that put on a happy face and i feel like he may have been dishonest towards gg throwing rocks hiding his hands the spice the, the blah, 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 blah despicable god damn spirit like i've literally heard the word despicable like looney tune shit um this reading <laughs> is really really messy y'all like if you still here i thank you so much for watching once again i hope all these missing details can be filled in i hope i didn't miss anything um if i did i have no problem doing another you know little little video there's some points where i feel like i was having a major disconnect because it's a lot of go arguing going on like it's some crazy shit going on behind closed doors you know i, I seen uh something i don't know what what is it called is it called a teacup i just got a vision of something being thrown at a picture and like it is breaking like it was just a lot of chaotic mess that was going on behind these folks closed doors y'all and uh that's all i have for now so till next time love y'all bye